To say that it was Jesus is, sounds trite, but it's not. Um, I came and I visited the friars. I was actually by my spiritual director because I was originally working to enter uh, the Austin Diocese. And my spiritual director, who is a diocesan priest for Austin, had asked the question, like, have you been to any religious communities? Have you gone and just experienced what that is? And I, I said to him, uh, no, I haven't. So he encouraged me to go and out and, and visit. And uh, I went to a couple different places. And then I contacted um, Father John Logger and came and visited the friars uh, in Denver and knew almost immediately that, that there was something unique about that expression of prayer. and the expression of lived life, right? Those were the two components for me that I, you know, it was the Lord asking me, come see, come see what this is about. And so I, I entered into that with, with curiosity, with fervor, with um, a sense of almost fear too, though, to be honest. I, I already, being from Austin, I already had a great deal of excitement about joining the diocese. I talked to Bishop Joe about the uh, potential and, and the expectations that the, that the diocese had uh, for me. And so here was this opportunity that seemed um, really beautiful, you know, it sounds like a simple word, but it just was. And uh, there was a great deal of fear for me because it was, it was uncer I was uncertain of what, what, what that would hold. You know, so I went back home from visiting the friars and I sat with Father Michael, who's my spiritual director. And I said to him, how did you know? Like, how did you know that I would probably choose this? The way that his office was situated, I would come in and I would sit uh, for spiritual direction on a chair facing his desk and he would come doing that. And he said, have you ever noticed the picture that's behind you when you come in and have a conversation? And I said, no, he said, well, turn around. And so I turned around to look and he said, that's my uncle. It was a Capuchin for... Uh, the St. Mary's province in California, and he reminds me a great deal of you. So uh, I, oh, through my prayer, he said, I was encouraged to have you at least go see what that was about. And so it just, just made sense. <laughs>